Hey, welcome to another Ramnam Watches Presents another Sunra video. So in this video, I'm going to unbox a, a Hamilton that I just recently got. Um, and yeah, let's, uh, let's get into it quickly. So here is a Hamilton. Let's see. So here's the big box followed by a piece of paper. So I got this in Taiwan. Um, so this is just the name of the lady that sold it. Her name is Wendy. Um, and there's a nice receipt with a stamp. And that's my signature to certify that I bought this watch. We'll put this aside. Um, here is the main box. So it's a slightly light plastic. Um, if I were to just slide this open, then what we see is there's nothing in here. We'll put this away. Here is a nice uh, cleaning cloth. Um, We'll open this up later. I think it's going to be branded. Um, and then within that box is this hard box. Uh, if I were to just move it like this, you can see that this box doesn't articulate further. There's some uh, paperwork down here, in the box over here. So let's take this out, put it here. And then there's nothing else in this black sleeve. So in terms of uh, paperwork, uh, this is a customer service book. Um, it's uh, because it's bought in Taiwan, it's mostly in Chinese. Um, I think you can go and check out uh, hamiltonwatch.com, scan the QR code if required, uh, some information about the Swatch group. Um, I think that's about it. So we'll put this aside. Then this is the two year international warranty. Um, this card definitely has seen better days. Uh, this is a new watch, but I'm not sure why this card's got so many scratches on it. I don't know if it picks up on the camera. Um, but yeah, indeed, I, this is the watch reference number, serial number, and I got this uh, August of 2023. Um, so we'll put this away as well. This is completely in Chinese, uh, so no idea what this is. So we'll also put this away. User manual. This is a manual wind watch, which we'll see. Um, so nothing important to read over here. Use your manual. International warranty, very thick book um, in a lot of different languages. So that's all the paperwork. So we'll also put that aside. Then the stuff that I'm actually most excited about is this box. Um, it's got a nice uh, hard uh, case. It looks like it's a well-made box. There's some uh, nice hinges over here. Uh, feels more solid than the usual Seiko boxes that I'm dealing with. Uh, so let's open it up. And boom, there we are to the main show. Some nice Hamilton branding over here. The watch is on a, on a cushion. So, and there's a little tag over here. So if we pull this tag, that's not the way to take it out. I think we just pulled the cushion out. So let's take this out. We'll put this aside. Let's see if this box opens up further. There seems to be a tag over here. Um, I think it doesn't. I think uh, this was meant to sit on top so that you pull this out. So there's, that's it. There's nothing else in the box. Uh, box is very solid and it's very nicely built. Um, ah, it's a nice soft close as well. So we'll put this away. And here is the main piece. This is what I've, uh, this, this is what I got. Um, so this is the Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. Uh, and this is the 38 millimeter watch. And this comes standard in this in this green NATO. So this is a um, this is a very popular watch. I think uh, I think this this watch must have been reviewed on like YouTube like so many times that I think this watch itself, the specs is not very new. Uh, but essentially it's a military um, inspired uh, field watch. Uh, it's 38 millimeters. Uh, this is the white dial variant of this watch uh, and it's a completely manual wind uh, movement. And this is the 80 hour power reserve. Um, there aren't too many stickers here. The lady at the shop actually ripped all the stickers that was on it. Um, but there is one more sticker at the back here. So let's try to get this off the NATO. There we go. And NATOs mean that it comes off relatively easily. So we'll just pull this through. So there, we'll put this aside. So this itself is the watch. 
Yeah, we'll get it a bit closer with you. This is the watch. And here is the, the underside of the watch. And here is the only sticker that I can pull off essentially. So we'll pull this sticker off. And here it's written Swiss made. Uh, I think that's the serial number. Over here it's water resistance to five bar. Um, and that's the movement number, I believe, the H69 something. This is the 80 hour uh, manual hand wind. So then you just wind this in. That's a very satisfying wind. And let me try to get the wind noise. So I'm gonna bring this closer to my microphone. Yeah, that's the noise. And uh, here it's already starting to power up and it's moving. And what I was told at least was that you can, what I was told at least was that you can start winding it all the way essentially until it stops. Um, so let's set the time. It's just a straight pull out and it hacks. Um, let's arbitrarily set it for, I believe now it's in the morning. So let's just try and move it around. Um, this doesn't have a date or any other complication. It's just the time. So let's set it for 4 p.m. And then you push it in and then you just power through. And that's it. This watch is working. So that's it. It's a very simple unboxing. Um, so I'll put this here. Let's check out this cloth uh, because it's a part of the packaging. Uh, so pull it in. And it looks like a very big piece of cloth uh, for a watch this small. Uh, it's enormous. Look at that. Um, but yeah, it's got the branding and it's also got the, the, the camo look. Um, so yeah, uh, nice watch, uh, nice cloth to wipe your watch down with. That's it. Um, I don't have much to say about this uh, NATO yet because uh, I'm just about to start using it. Um, unlike other NATOs where this is usually metal, this is just nice leather. Uh, signed buckle, uh, which we all like. Um, so yeah, let me get cracking with the watch and then I'll come back with a, with a full review. Thanks for watching. Uh, please like, share and subscribe and I'll catch you in another video. Bye.